I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question to find exact value of a trigonometric ratio which may involve compound angles. The question is find the exact value of cos 5 pi by 12. Now uh, to find the exact value we may have to split this angle as a combination of two so that we could use uh, the known exact values especially you know the special triangles which we work with let me sketch those special triangles first and then we'll talk about it uh, you know one special triangle is pi by 3 pi by 6 and pi by 2 the other one pi by 4 and pi by 2 right this is also pi by 4 you can say the sides are 1 2 square root 3 and sides for this are 1 1 square root 2 now some of you can also take the sides as multiply by square root 2, right? Uh, especially when we are working with cosine, we prefer to use these values so that we avoid the denominator being a irrational number. Perfect. Now, we have cos of 5 pi by 12. We need to find exact value. Uh, that means we have to split this number 5 pi in such a way that we get a combination of these angles. What some of you can do, convert to degrees you are more familiar with. But I prefer to work with radius. 5 could, could be written in two ways, 4 plus 1 or 3 plus 2. Now if I do 4 plus 1, 1 over 12 is still a problem. 3 plus 2 is a better option. So I'll write this as 3 pi plus 2 pi over 12. Does it make sense? So that really tells you that you could actually write this as cos 3 pi by 12 plus 2 pi by 12. Correct? Now, 3 pi by 12 could be written as cos. It goes 4 times, right? So pi by 4 plus pi by 6. So now we have those kinds of angles. It is very easy to find the value now. So we will use the cos A plus B formula. So let me write cos A plus B formula just to remind you. It is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Correct? So let's use this formula and expand. So when you expand, you get cos of pi by 4 times cos of pi by 6 minus sine of pi by 4 times sine of pi by 6. Good. Now you can directly read the values. Cos of pi by 4. So I prefer to use square root 2 over 2 here. So we'll write this as square root 2 over 2. Pi by 6. So we are looking from this side, adjacent side is square root 3. So I'll multiply by square root 3 over 2. Now we have to write sine of pi by 4, which is again square root 2 over 2. And sine pi by 6 is opposite side of 1, so it is 1 over 2. Correct? Now 4 is your denominator. Let me rewrite this as square root 6. Or instead of writing square root 6, you may take square root 2 as a common factor. You see that? Okay, you could do that. So let me write two ways. Square root 6 minus square root 2. And the common denominator here is 4. Right? So that could be one way of writing it. The other way could be, you could actually take square root 2 common in the numerator. So you get square root 3 minus 1. Right? And the denominator is 2 times 2, which is 4. So either one of them is okay. Is okay, right? The important thing here is that in multiple choice questions, you may be given some answer. You may have to match it. So it's kind of important to see it from all these angles. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And meanwhile, I'll give you a question which will be now this time in sign. And let's make this angle as 7 pi by 12. Is it okay? So try to find the value of sine 7 pi by 12. Okay. 
Now look here, 7 pi by 12 really means that we are now in this quadrant and the acute angle still is 5 pi by 12. Does it make sense to you? This is 7 pi by 12, correct? So uh, find out what this is. I hope that helps. Feel free to write, comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.